Kirpal Sagar as a place, a center, to develop into a perfect human being. As long as hearts and minds do not change, the world situation can also not change. In order to bring about such a change, successfully, and effective, it must always come from within. Reformers are urgently needed, reformers who are willing to reform themselves. Governments can control the external circumstances in a country, but they cannot develop people. To make a man, to develop a man, we have to follow the footsteps of those spiritually developed personalities. To follow their instructions is at the same time the guarantee to be as successful in life as they were. This is in short the principle behind this universal project, called Kirpal Sagar, or Ocean of Grace, entirely dedicated to man-making and man-service. A group of conscious people who help others to become conscious. It is in itself something very great that ordinary people, from all walks of life, have brought something like this into being. But in fact it is the grace of God, through which it has worked. What they all have in common is, that they attribute their success to that higher power, that is responsible for all creation. In this respect, they are all conscious, and all their activities are carried out on the basis, of that universal teaching, which has been at the root of all creation from the very beginning. And this is the guarantee for success, because he who is good, does good, and respects all forms of life, to such one the Creator grants his gracious gaze, without having to ask. He who sows roses, will not reap thistles, one can be sure. Be good, do good, and be one. This is the straight way to peace in our own heart, and peace on earth. The man of the future. The modern man of the future is aware of his spiritual roots with his creator. He is good from the heart, does good, and feels one with everything that lives. To feed himself, he does not kill animals, because he feeds on plants, fruits, nuts and grain, and avoids everything that would harm himself and his fellow human beings. This life stream, that we are, will eventually, be withdrawn from this body. We are all one, because we are the life in this body, and not the different bodies. Life is only one, an ocean, from which we, the soul, are a drop. Let us be aware, that being good, and doing good, having love for all, is the only way to peace on earth. If you forget your spiritual roots, you have already lost everything, that belongs to you. Because the physical body, and the mind, are only for a certain time, the companions, of the soul. Its only true friend, is its true self, this, almighty power or God himself. Every respect, is due to that power, that forever exists in everything, that is the actual doer. When this supreme power, expressed itself in the form of San Kirpal Singh, he began to bring about a great change, in the hearts, of so many people. His motto, be good, do good and be one, is based on the truth, of this, already existing unity. This power doesn't need a physical body, it works even, if no humans, populate the earth. This power never dies, it may leave the physical body, but never its mission. You are all my ambassadors, this is what San Kirpal Singh wants his children to be a living example, of this divine love in man. He is able, on all levels of existence, to give man this contact with God. 
Only this supreme power, named the Param San, can carry out this mission and unity of man is his mission. He is our master, our eternal father, to whom all souls will return, sooner or later. He is the source of all happiness, and all love. He is God manifested. He can never die. This unity between him and the soul already exists, but unfortunately we have forgotten it. And the result of it is to be seen today everywhere in this world, where ego and self-overestimation dominate the whole scene. Therefore, it is only wise, as long as we live on earth, to come into contact with this controlling power, in order, to solve this mystery of life, and attain, eternal life. Without this guidance, and protection, from above, man is but a toy, of the elements. Helpless, at the mercy, of the tendencies of his mind, and with death, before his eyes. Which in truth does not exist. A sincere prayer by man is always heard, and those, who practically, begin to live by it, can be sure, that they will receive, guidance, and protection, from within, and from outside. That is the promise, of those, competent personalities, who have already solved the mystery of life. God will always be with someone like that.